So let's look at the differential equation 2xy plus x squared minus y squared y prime equal to 0. Um, so I want to show you this is an exact equation. So an exact equation has the um, solution uh, f of xy equal to some constant. And if we take the uh, derivative, total derivative with respect to x of both sides, we would use the partials, so partial f with respect to x plus partial of f with respect to y, and y is a function of x, y prime equal to 0, using the chain rule here. So if this is an exact equation, then this term here should be df dx, and this term x squared minus y squared should be df dy, so that if we take the um, uh, partial, so if this is if exact, So if this is df dx, then if we take the partial of this with respect to y, we would get 2x. And this one is df dy, so if we take the partial of this with respect to x, we also get 2x. So that says that d squared f dxy dx dy is equal to d squared f dy dx. So this is an exact equation then, so it's in this form, df dx plus df dy, y prime equals zero. So if it's an exact equation, then we can find a solution um, by integrating. So df dx then is 2xy, right? So we know that df dx equals 2 times x y. So we can integrate that with respect to x. So then we get f equals the integral with respect to x is x2 over 2 times 2. So we'll get x squared y plus an integration constant. But now uh, the integration constant has to go away when we take the partial of f with respect to x. So the integration constant here can be some function of y, okay? It's not uh, absolute constant, but is a function of y. So we're trying to find our f. So we know that f now up to a function of y, but we know that we know what df dy is equal to. So if we go back, sorry, we have um, this one is our df dx, this is our df dy. So df dy is x squared minus y squared. So we get x squared minus y squared is equal to the partial of f with respect to y. The first term is x squared. And the derivative of h with respect to y will be h prime of y. Okay. So that gives us an equation for h prime. So h prime, uh, the x is canceled, is minus y squared. So now we integrate both sides of this. So we get h is equal to the integral of minus y squared, which is minus y cubed over 3, plus some constant. Okay, But we're going to set f equal to a constant. So that constant we can throw on the right-hand side. So therefore, we get our solution that f of x, y is a constant, or we get x squared times y minus one-third y cubed equals a constant. And that gives us all of the possible solutions to the uh, original differential equation.